Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and I hope you're having a great day. Hey, it's been a long time since we've looked at surfaces within 1CNC, so I thought today would be a good opportunity to do just that. So in the next three videos, we're going to be working with surfaces, and we're also going to take a look at hybrid modeling, okay? So to begin with, when you work with surfaces, typically surfaces are going to require some type of wireframe geometry first. So to save time, I've already created the wireframe geometry on these various layers in the lower right hand corner. I also want to point out that there's two color palettes down here. The right color palette determines the color of brand new surfaces or solids. I'm just going to left click and I'm just going to use that color right there, kind of a blue color. All right, let's get started. So the first surface we're going to take a look at is a revolved surface. So let's turn this layer on. And that is the wireframe geometry we're going to use right there for our revolved surface. So let's create that. Let's head over and do the command manager. We're going to go into our surface tools and let's select revolved. From there, I'm going to tell one CNC that I want to rotate this geometry around the X axis. X axis is selected. Notice also you can rotate around Y or Z or any arbitrary line if you'd like. I'm going to click OK. It doesn't matter which side or which end you select first. I'll select here, then select the direction of selection arrow. I'm just going to left click that, hit the F3 key on the keyboard. And at this point, I'm going to tell 1CNC that I only need 180 degrees worth of rotation. That looks great, so I'll click OK to that. And there we go. There's our very first surface. That's a surface of rotation. All right, let's take a look at another surface now. Let's turn our next layer on. This is a cross-sectional surface. Now, a cross-sectional surface is simply just a surface that's created using different cross-sections. The only thing that you have to remember when selecting your cross-sections is just select them in order. In other words, select them from left to right or from right to left. You wouldn't want to select the center cross-section and then outside and outside. And the last thing to remember is whatever side you select, for example, if I select the upper right hand corner, it's important to also select the upper right hand corner on the remaining cross section surface. Very simple. All right, so let's create one. Let's head over to the command manager, cross sectional surface. I'm going to left click here, left click the direction of selection, F3 key. I'm selecting the same side. Notice how I'm not coming over here. I'm on the same side. I'm going to left click, same direction of selection. F3 key, left click, left click the direction of selection, F3, and when you're done, right hand mouse click. And there you go, there's your cross sectional surface. Very nice. In fact, let's turn our other layer back on and we can see the two surface types we've created. We created a rotational surface and a cross sectional surface. If you'd like to learn more about surfaces, click on the video in the upper right hand corner.